attachment to our trauma. Um, and this could also be relevant for anyone, anytime someone's going, uh, you're undergoing um, a significant healing process for any reason that you're needing help with. Uh, even if it, it could be even a physical issue, but some problem that has taken a lot of your attention and focus to work through the attachment to that situation, the attachment to the trauma or whatever it is. At some point, it's important to look at this and it's quite common. It's just not talked about very much or with a lot of ease, I find. Um, but, um, and especially if you've been at it for a while and you're feeling like, I want to heal and I want to get better or I want change, but it's not happening. So there, there might be a feeling of stuckness. So some of the reasons that we might become attached to the trauma, um, there might be underlying fears that if I heal and I'm strong, then I'll be on my own. I'll be alone. No one will help me. Um, no one will give me attention. No one will validate me. Maybe we got attached to needing the sympathy. And that could be part of something maybe we carried on from childhood. Um, we use sympathy as a way to kind of get attention that we're starved for. Okay. Um, we can also become attached to needing healing. Yeah. For a lot of those same reasons. You might also be afraid of leaving people behind that are still struggling. So you're sort of keeping yourself maybe in the pain to connect with them. And, um, and that's how maybe you've connected with people in your life. Maybe you've built a lot of your life around it without even realizing it. So it shakes things up to um, come out of all that suffering that you've been through. So, um, and another thing is, and some of these things I've experienced. So I'm speaking from experience here. And uh, like, there could be, wow, if I am not this traumatized, wounded, or person needing help, who am I? I don't know who I am. I don't even know how to exist without this persona or this identity. So a couple of reasons that I think people don't talk about this as much or bring enough attention to it besides that it's a little politically incorrect maybe, but it's exposing. Um, it's such that kind of level of honesty. It doesn't just expose us in acknowledging that, but it can expose other people when we share that because they may be also having that in some way. Another reason I think people don't talk about it or address it is maybe if you feel like, Oh, if I acknowledge the part that says I don't want to heal or I'm afraid to heal and let go, then I'll stay stuck there. So I'll just keep focusing on I want to heal and I want this and I want that and I want that. The thing is, is that whatever that resistance is, if you acknowledge it, then it has a chance at being transformed, at being released. If we don't acknowledge something that's a feeling, a genuine feeling inside it keeps us it keeps it in place so the not wanting to heal behind the want I want to heal it's very good to look at and for me I wouldn't have gone through and let go of the trauma in the past if I hadn't done that aspect of it it was really important for me so we kind of have to look at the whole not just the part that says I was wounded, I was hurt, these are my symptoms, but at some point look at the other parts of ourselves that we haven't given attention to. Um, and then once there's more strength and there's not so much suffering and we're coming out of all that, then I, it has been important for me to com continue discerning the difference between what's a real problem and what's my mind creating just to keep me occupied or distract me for stepping into something for, to keep me from expanding. So that takes time and experience. And 
to also say, oh, this is a real challenge that I actually do need to look at and that I would benefit from it tremendously by facing it and going deeper into it. So, um, yep, yeah, that's all I can think of. Attachment to trauma. It's uh, really good to look at. I, if you're watching this on YouTube, I put some resources in the little description box. Okay, be brave and face yourself.